a new leader and a new glitch for the Connecticut Department of Motor Vehicles. And this is of concern for boaters and boat dealers. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with the latest on this. Mark. Hi, Anna Scott. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Governor Malloy is reaching within the DMV and out to private industry to try to solve the DMV's terrible problems. It comes uh, as a, a new season brings another glitch. Boating season will soon be upon us, and the boat yards and dealers all along the shoreline and the big rivers are getting ready for the rush of business. There are close to 100,000 boats registered here in Connecticut, and the boat dealers have started coping with the same issues that the auto dealers have been faced with ever since the DMV's new computer glitches began late last summer. We go to Old Saybrook, so it's half an hour down, half an hour back, and then it's at least four hours down there. You might as well bring your lunch and your sleeping bag because you're there for most of your day. And now the DMV is notifying about 4,000 Connecticut boat owners they must refile because there are inconsistencies in the model and make of thousands of boats. It was explained today by the newly appointed DMV Commissioner Michael Bizdera of Wallingford, who is being bumped up to the top job after nearly five years with the agency. There was information in the old system that um, was not accurate, did not contain the right information on makes and models of boats. So what we didn't want to do was transfer that problem over to the new system. The governor announced today that he is appointing Judine Rin of Middletown to be the top DMV deputy. A lifelong Connecticut resident, Rin specialized in these types of problems for private companies. She says she plans to visit each and every DMV location around the state to physically examine how things are being done at each one. We're going to look at process end to end because almost always when you look at process, you can discover opportunities to streamline and make it more efficient. The agency says the average DMV wait time, and that's again average across the state, is about 50 minutes now. That means you could wait a lot longer or maybe less depending on where you are on the average day. But that's the average wait time, 50 minutes. But with the spring season with the boats and extra business, those wait times are expected to get longer again. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.